Next, we will walk through the steps to change the polymer on your Applied Biosystems 3500 Series Genetic Analyzer. Applied Biosystems POP4 polymer has been validated for HID fragment analysis. Polymer pouches come in 96 sample, 384 sample, and 960 sample sizes. The polymer has been verified for use up to two weeks on the instrument or when the number of injections has been reached for the specific pouch sample size, whichever comes first. Before allowing the pouch to come to room temperature, inspect the polymer pouch to ensure that no crystals are present. If crystals are observed, do not use the pouch and contact your local Thermo Fisher scientific representative. Remove the plastic film covering the connection prior to allowing the pouch to come to room temperature. To change the polymer pouch, go to the Maintenance tab, then choose Wizards, then select the Replenish the Polymer wizard. This wizard will take you step by step through changing the polymer. With the main door open, pull down the lever next to the currently installed polymer pouch for removal. You'll feel some resistance when pulling the lever up and down. The resistance is due to opening and closing the butterfly valve located inside the pouch. Once the lever is down, remove the old pouch and clean the connection with a lab wipe moistened with purified water, then dry. Once the new polymer pouch has come to room temperature, slide the pouch into position with the RFID label facing toward the RFID reader. Then pull the lever up to install. Again, you will feel some resistance due to the butterfly valve. Follow the wizard through the remaining steps of changing the polymer pouch. These include priming the pump with fresh polymer, visually checking and removing any bubbles in the pump chamber, and the option to fill the array with fresh polymer. Once a consumable has been changed on the Applied Biosystems 3500 Genetic Analyzer, a quick check of the dashboard should show the new lot information for that consumable. Information on consumables can be seen in the gauge section on the consumables information section. This information includes lot number, days on instrument, and expiration date. If the software has not updated, simply hit the refresh button and the data collection software will read the information from the newly installed consumables RFID tab.